Welcome to Grace Tote Studio. My name is Andy Whitmore, and I'd like to introduce you to the top 10 analog synthesizers of all time. At number 10, we have the Prophet VS. This was used by Erasure, Depeche Mode, Vince Clark, Kraftwerk, and uh, John Carpenter. This is a lovely synth. Each oscillator, and it has four per note has 127 waveforms and the filter section is completely analog. This was the last synth built by Sequential Circuits before they went bankrupt and then the guys went on to Korg and they built the Korg wave station. Wow, and at number nine, we've got the Juno 106. This six digital controlled oscillator synth with analog filters is an absolute treat. It has the famous Roland Chorus, 128 patches. The Juno 60 had 56. It's stable, it's warm, and it came with MIDI. It was famously used by Vince Clark, Moby, 808 State, Erasure, Depeche Mode, and The Prodigy. Number eight on the list, we have the Oberheim Expander. This is completely different to all the analog since before and after. It has 12 oscillators, all analog, filters are analog. It's basically a keyboardless Matrix 12, famously being used by Vince Clark, Erasure, Depeche Mode, Sasha, Hans Zimmer, and Orbital. <laughs> And at number seven, we got the Jupiter 4. It's got four oscillators, one oscillator per note, but it has a legendary Roland chorus, which really brings it alive. Lovely stereo sound to it. This came out at 2,280 pounds, which is 12,000 pounds today. They're going for between four and a half, seven K now. They've been famously used by Stevie Wonder, Level 42, Duran Duran, Michael Jackson, myself, The Cars, and Erasure. <laughs>
And at number six, we got the Yamaha CS50. This is the forerunner of the CS60 and the CS80. A lovely little synth with only four oscillators. It's got all the modulation that the CS60 and the CS80 have. It's a quarter of the CS80 for an eighth of the price, so it's a bargain. In 1977, when they came out, they cost 2,100 pounds. In today's money, that's 12,000. Second hand on reverb, four and a half to seven grand. It's got 13 presets. Famous users include Men Without Hats and Herbie Hancock. Number five, we've got the OB8, a great synth. This is the final in the OB series after the OB1, OBXA, and the OBX. 16 oscillators, Curtis chip, just like the Prophet 5 Rev3, completely analog synth. There's got dedicated knobs and switches for every single function, so it's very quick to program. As used by the Thompson Twins, Simple Minds, Van Halen, Paul McCartney, Sticks, and Depeche Mode. And at number four, we've got the Roland Super Jupiter. This has 16 analog oscillators, and it's the only one of the MKS range which is completely analog. Built for between 84 and 87, and after 85, they stuck Roland oscillators in. It's a Jupiter 6 in a box. So Jupiter 6 had six note polyphonic. This has got eight note polyphonic. It has 64 memories and an external programmer. Famous users include Herbie Hancock, Daft Punk, Madonna, Pet Shop Boys, Vince Clark, and Aphex Twins. Wow. 
And now down to the top three, we've got the Profit Fives. This is an awesome synth, completely programmable and one of the first programmable synths ever. 10 oscillators and two oscillators per note, five note polyphonic, 120 memories. Curtis oscillators, analog filters, it's very, very flexible. Every parameter is on the board, so it's really quick to program. Famous users include Gary Newman, Genesis, Horder Notes, Peter Gabriel, and New Order. And at number two, we have the Jupiter 8. Roland's first truly professional analog synthesizer, 16 discrete oscillators with eight note polyphony. This synth featured a split and layered keyboard, heaven, killer resonant filter and arpeggiator. Famous users include Tangerine Dream, Moby, Orbital, Jan Hammer, Toto, George Duke and Stevie Wonder. <laughs> And finally, at number one, we got the Yamaha CS80, and what a beast! 16 oscillators, eight notes, five different modulation sources. This is the mother of all synths. With two eight note polyphonic synths in it. This synth, when it came out, was £4,950. In today's money, that's 28 grand. Today, they go for about 32 and a half grand. This is Japan's first great polyphonic synth. The synth was used on Blade Runner. Vangelis has used it. Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney, Brian Eno, Simple Minds. And that concludes the top 10. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And please give me any comments so I can make better videos for you. Thank you. Ah!